Kidney stones are small, hard deposits of minerals and acid salts that form inside the kidneys. They can vary in size and shape, ranging from a grain of sand to a pea-sized stone or even larger. Kidney stones can cause severe pain as they pass through the urinary tract, which includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Some common symptoms of kidney stones include Severe pain in the side and back, below the ribs. Pain that radiates to the lower abdomen and groin. Pain during urination. Pink, red, or brown urine. Nausea and vomiting. Persistent need to urinate. Risk factors for kidney stones include dehydration, a diet high in salt and animal protein, obesity, family history, certain medical conditions such as gout or inflammatory bowel disease, and certain medications. Kidney stones can be caused by a variety of factors, including Dehydration, not drinking enough water, can cause urine to become concentrated, leading to the formation of kidney stones. Diet, a diet high in animal protein, salt, and sugar, can increase the risk of kidney stone formation. Certain foods that are high in oxalates, such as spinach, rhubarb, and nuts, can also contribute to kidney stone formation. Obesity, being overweight or obese, can increase the risk of kidney stones, as excess weight can lead to changes in urine composition. Genetics, some people may have a genetic predisposition to kidney stone formation. Medical conditions, certain medical conditions such as gout, hyperparathyroidism, and inflammatory bowel disease can increase the risk of kidney stones. Medications, some medications can increase the risk of kidney stones such as diuretics, calcium-based antacids, and certain antibiotics. Urinary tract abnormalities, structural abnormalities in the urinary tract, such as blockages or narrowing of the ureters, can increase the risk of kidney stone formation. If you are experiencing symptoms of kidney stones, your doctor may perform several tests to diagnose the condition. Medical history, your doctor will ask about your medical history, including any family history of kidney stones and any medications you are taking. Physical exam, your doctor will perform a physical exam to check for signs of pain or tenderness in the abdomen or back. Urine tests, your doctor may request a urine sample to check for blood in the urine and to measure levels of certain substances that may contribute to kidney stone formation. Blood tests, blood tests may be ordered to check for elevated levels of calcium, uric acid, and other substances that may contribute to kidney stone formation. Imaging tests, imaging tests, such as a CT scan, ultrasound, or X-ray, may be performed to visualize the kidney stones and determine their location and size. Stone analysis, if you pass a kidney stone or if a stone is removed through medical intervention, it may be sent to a lab for analysis to determine its composition. The treatment for kidney stones depends on the size, location, and composition of the stones, as well as the severity of symptoms. Pain relief, your doctor may recommend over-the-counter pain medication or prescribe stronger pain medication to help manage the pain associated with kidney stones. Fluids, drinking plenty of fluids can help flush out the kidney stones and prevent future stone formation. Water is usually the best choice, but your doctor may recommend other fluids, such as lemonade or orange juice, that contain citrate, which can help prevent kidney stone formation. Medical intervention, if the kidney stones are too large to pass on their own, medical intervention may be necessary. Stone analysis, if a kidney stone is passed or removed, your doctor may send it to a lab for analysis to determine its composition. This can help guide treatment and prevention strategies. Lifestyle changes, making changes to your diet and lifestyle can help prevent future kidney stones. Your doctor may recommend drinking plenty of fluids, limiting your intake of salt and animal protein, and increasing your intake of fruits and vegetables.